Hi, YouTube. God loves you all. God bless you. I'm going to read five chapters real quick here. It won't take me too long because these ones are actually kind of short. Um, so it's Psalm 61 through 65. God loves you and God bless you. Psalm 61 for the director of music with stringed instruments of David. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you, I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever, and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. Man, sorry, I was trying to... You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then I will ever sing in praise of your name and fulfill my vows day after day. Psalm 62 for the director of music for Jonathan of Psalm of David. Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault me? Would all of you throw me down this leaning wall, this tottering fence. Surely they intend to topple me from my lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. Yes, my soul find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to him. For God is our refuge. Surely the lowborn are just are, are but a breath. The highborn are but a lie. If weighed on a bout, if weighed on a bounce, they are nothing. Together they are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not see do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Power belongs to you, God, and with you. Lord is unfailing love, and you reward everyone according to what they have done. Psalm 63, Psalm of David, when he was in the desert of Judah. You God are my God. Earnestly I seek you, I thirst for you, my whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in a sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory because your love is better than life. My lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. And those who want to kill me will be destroyed. And they will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. And all who swear by God will glory in him while the mouths of liars will be silenced. Psalm 64. For the director of music, a psalm of David. Hear me, my God, as I voice my complaint. Protect my life from the threat of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked, from the plots of evildoers. They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim their cruel words like deadly arrows. They shoot from ambush at the innocent. They shoot suddenly without fear. They encourage each other in, vile, uh, in evil plans. They talk about hiding their snares. They say, who will see it? They plot injustice and say, we have devised a perfect plan. Surely the human mind and heart are cunning, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. All who see them will shake their heads in scorn. All people will fear. They will proclaim the works of God and ponder what he has done. The righteous will rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. All the upright in heart will glory in him. Psalm 65, for the director of music, a psalm of David, a song. Praise awakes you, our God in Zion, so you, uh, to you our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer, so you all people, to you all people will come. When, when we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds, God our Savior. The hope of all the earth and uh, the hope the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas.
who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders, where morning dawns, where evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams that God are filled with water to provide the people with grain, for so you have ordained it. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty, and your carts overflow with abundance. The grassland to the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks, and the valleys are mantled with grain. And they shout for joy and sing. And that's five chapters right there. God loves you all, and God bless, and have a blessed week.